So I'll, I'll wait a bit. I, I know I'm live, but I'll wait a bit. <laughs> All right, hey folks, uh, welcome. Welcome back to another episode of Get Good. My name is Ian. Thanks for joining me today. Today, we're going to talk about a very interesting musical instrument called the kalimba. And of course, I don't know how to play that. So I have a special guest here with me, Carmen. She'll be joining us in about four minutes or so. And we're just going to talk about how to play a kalimba properly and how, properly and how uh, she got started with such an instrument. So, fo so folks, if you are watching this live, uh, stick around for another four minutes. Uh, we will start the stream uh, exactly at one o'clock. And if you are watching a recording of this, uh, please fast forward to the fifth minute mark and that will be the start time of the show. And as usual, please like and subscribe to us and we will be back in about four minutes. So folks, uh, welcome to another episode of Get Good. We'll just start with a little duet between a guitar 
and a kalimba, so you get a taste of what it is. I'm gonna adjust my microphone uh, because kalimba is a more quiet instrument compared to guitar. But this is Carmen. Carmen will be with me, and she'll be playing the kalimba. Okay, we're good. Okay, here we go. still trying to figure out the music. I think the background music was still playing at the end, right? A little bit, right? Okay, that's a little bit. <laughs> hey, so welcome Carmen. Welcome for joining Hi, us Hi everyone. Uh, let me turn up my mic now. Okay, so uh, Kalimba. So before we get into Kalimba, I, I think most viewers want to know more about you. Uh, like, who, who's Carmen? I, I've never seen Carmen except sometimes you're on ShareNet. That's really cool too. Uh, let's talk about how you are connected with RCD. Uh, actually, I work here as a uh, fun desk. Oh, okay, that's right. So from time to time when people call in, they, they will hear your voice. Yes, yes. Excellent. So Carmen works at front desk. So recently she's been trying out many new things. So things like uh, video editing. Video, one of the share net, she actually did some video editing and I thought that was very impressive. And of course, recently I discovered that she plays the kalimba. To me, kalimba, the sound of it, it's mm. like an official camping type musical instrument. You bring that out in front of the campi campfire, perfect, perfect sound. Mm. Thank you. Thank you for um, bringing uh, a kalimba up and performing with me. And uh, so folks, if you're interested in the song that we're playing, the song is uh, called Eight, number eight by IU. <clears throat> it's a Korean song. So, <clears throat> and you play that very well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy to play with you too. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, we hopefully we can play more in the future. <clears throat> I think the very first time Carmen and I performed together was during the Christmas yeah, the, it's a Chinese song. Yes, that's right. Uh, so it was a very interesting take on a, a Chinese song. I can't remember the name. What was it called? I, I just know the Chinese yeah, name. Yeah, what was it in Chinese? Yutnan Dai Biu Ngo Dik Sam. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Uh, the, the moon represents my heart. And that's a very popular Chinese song. And we did a guitar and a kalimba duet. If you're interested in that, you can go back to our Christmas production and look for that particular performance. Okay, so let's uh, talk about uh, kalimba. So uh, why? Why kalimba? So why did you choose to learn kalimba instead of other instruments? Actually, uh, last year, around uh, June, I uh, saw the post on the social media and then uh, it's selling the kalimba. And then um, the post uh, said the um, Kalumba sounds is very beautiful, as beautiful as music box, oh, okay. and the price is very affordable. Oh, okay, so, so yeah, you mentioned music box. I actually find a similarity between the 
kalimba and the music box. That it's very very similar.、Oh. So you yeah, yeah I actually find that sound very relaxing, very soothing. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's wonderful in terms of playing a melody. So it can completely replace someone's singing, for example. So I I find that、uh, that's something that I've noticed. The pricing you mentioned. What about the price? Can you tell us about how much they are?、Mm, okay,、uh, this is my first kalumba. It's called Holo Kalumba. It's、uh, about thirty、uh, dollars. Okay. So、uh, it's very good price.、Yeah, very so, affordable. Thirty、uh, dollars. Yeah, yeah, very easy to play. So this is my first kalumba. Did Did you Did you、uh, learn this? Uh, more during the pandemic is that why is that how you got into kalimba? I just I just、uh, play it for fun.、Um, I just find、uh, some YouTube video and then、uh, to learn it by myself. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I I find it is very easy to to pick up. Th- that's basically、It's- when you're stuck at home. You know, you want to practice something new, and you chose the kalimba basically. Yes. Yes.、Okay. Okay, so this is a hollow,、uh, hollow kalimba. Yes. With a sound hole, so actually similar to like a guitar with a sound hole. Yes. And what's another type of、uh, kalimba? Okay,、uh, the one I played with Ian is、uh, this one. This one is called a、uh, flat board、uh, kalimba. Okay, a flat board kalimba,、yes. and it's heavier. Is that right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like、uh, you showed me、uh, and yesterday. And they have a train、uh, here. Oh. Is for the play. You can play the effect. Effect. Right. Effect. So there's a chain on top of the、yes. of the. I think it's called tines. Like,、oh, like each、okay. each、uh, metal is called tines. Right. Oh. I think it's called. Oh.、Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can you can put like you can have different effects by moving the chain on top of yes, it. Yes. Yes.、Uh, just、uh, how much is this roughly? Oh, this one. This one I bought it around sixty dollars. Sixty dollars. Above,、oh, yeah. Twice the the price of the the previous one. Yes. And yes. it's also twice as heavy. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. This one is heavy. So,、uh, actually, the hollow one is、uh, good for the beginner and、um, lightweight, and、uh, actually the sound is、uh, louder. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It's L- good、louder. good、okay. to play、uh, at the outdoor. Oh okay. Yeah. Well, I I think I think that they both like we've practiced with both before and they、oh, yeah. both sound good. The the one with the solid wood,、uh, the flat board one,、mm. has a more ring to it. You can you yes, can yes. you can play it in front、okay. of the microphone. Just a very long, yeah, very, very soft. Long and, and one more time. Yeah. Like this. Very nice.、Yeah. And then compare with the hollow type. Okay, this one is like this. Oh, okay. Is it different? Yes. Yeah. Yes, very different. And you can play、uh, the sound effect with the sound hole as well. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. The kalimba, so thirty dollars to about sixty dollars, depending on the、uh, type of kalimba that you're purchasing. Definitely. Easy to get into. It's not like a guitar. A guitar, at least, you're looking at a hundred something dollars for、mm. like the cheapest classical guitar. More expensive when you're talking about a couple of hundred dollars. So it's kind of a barrier to entry. So, folks, I know you have a lot of questions.、Uh, let's jump to some questions first, shall we?、Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Jerry. So, Tom is asking how often does Tom play like practice for kalimba? Okay. So,、uh, Carmen, how often do you play with your kalimba? Uh, before Ian invites me to play with him, it's not often. <laughs> <laughs> it's not often. Yeah, so I'm happy to uh, uh, Ian uh, invites me to give me a chance to play more kalumba.、Uh, actually, it's very very easy to uh, uh, pick up. Like、uh, he invites me to play uh, eight uh, the song. Uh, actually, we use about one one month. We just、uh, couple.、Uh, Practice like couple times,、yeah. and、uh, I play maybe one or twice at home every day. Then、uh, it's, it's already learned the song. Yeah,、All、right. Yeah. So of course,、uh, the 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 actual song is much longer. If you're interested,、uh, Carmen and I would be happy to to record、uh, the performance of that and put that on our channel. Let me know if you're interested.、Uh, we can always do that for you.、Uh, and so you practice. 
for roughly, we practiced for roughly a month. So initially what I did was uh, I, I, I told Carmen, hey, there's a really cool song that I can play guitar with, uh, but I can't sing and nobody can sing, but your kalimba sounds like singing. So can mm. do you think we can do a duet? So that's how we got started. And with a goal in mind, now she started to work on the song every day. I, I, and I think that's usually what the, this is about. When you, we play instru musical instrument, it's all about setting a goal. You have a song to master, then you will pr practice the song every day. Yeah. Good question. <laughs> Thank you. Next question. Okay. So uh, when we play kalimba, um, do you actually use the the thumb, like the, the flash of your thumb, like the tip of your thumb, or do you use your fingernails of the thumb? Um, actually, uh, from the beginning, I used thumb, but and then I find it like uh, you the, use the uh, nails is uh, the sound is bad better. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Right, right, right. So at the end, so basically, you have to have a little bit of not long nails. Yes, yeah, you, okay. you need to keep the long, long nails. Oh, okay, so for those of you who love your long nails, you can put it to good use by playing the kalimba. Now, just to compare with the guitar, uh, I cannot play guitar with long nails, at least not with my left hand. Left hand needs to be very, very short in terms of your nails. So if those of you who are interested in guitar, well, think about that. But with kalimba, long nails, no problem. And you, you just basically use your thumb. Uh, yes, two. Just the two yeah. thumbs, left thumb and right thumb. This one very easy. Very easy. Yes, I know that the kalimba is also known as a finger harp. It's also known as a thumb piano, and it's also known as a mabira. And uh, do, do you recall when you were researching about kalimba? Do you recall any history about the kalimba? Um. Actually, I just pay it for for fun. So oh, okay. I I just know is uh, this instrument is from uh, Africa. Oh yes, that's right, that's right. Mm -hmm. So you can see uh, I'm gonna show you our poster designed by our Canada summer job student. Uh, the kalimba is actually an African musical instrument. It was originally from the Shona people in the Zimbabwe area and it was their musical instrument for 3,000 years. So they've been playing that all along. Mm -hmm. And it's not until recent years, like the recent like 50, 60 years that the instrument was introduced to North America and made popular here. So a lot of people are now playing the kalimba uh, and professional artists also like the sound of it and they're also using it in their songs. So kalimba. Very, very uh, interesting uh, instrument uh, originated from the uh, in the continent of Africa. Okay, uh, I know I, I gave you a bunch of questions, uh, Carmen. Did I miss <laughs> anything so far? Uh, is there anything you want to uh, say about the kalimba? Actually, that I I I always want to play um, instruments, oh, okay. but uh, I don't have a music uh, background and. Uh, I'm I'm not good on music, uh, playing in instrument, and uh, but I I always imagine uh, if I can bring some small instruments to outdoor and then play uh, with friend at the pic picnic or uh, or uh, camping trip, then it's very romantic. <laughs> yes, it, it definitely. Like especially like in yeah. front of a campfire I mentioned before. Yeah. It, it has a very unique sound when you're you're playing in front even for guitar, right? Just playing in front yeah. of a campfire really brings it to life. Right? Yes, yes, That's why yeah. I love like camping and music. Maybe yeah. next next camping trip I invite you over. Oh, okay. We can yeah, we can right. jam. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. And I that's why I always uh, looking for some small instru instruments. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, I want to show you some um, instruments like this. This one it's is a duck. very cute. Uh, <laughs> ocarina. Ocarina. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I I because this is very cute. So uh, I got it from uh, actually in um, Taiwan Taiwan trip okay. from uh, Taiwan. 
uh, I I thought it's very easy to pray, but it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's you need to use so many finger. Right. Uh, but I and I cannot blow. manage uh, uh, too you... many finger at the same time. <laughs> that's ah, why, I see. That's why um, I'm failed. I cannot. I uh, gave up on this. this. I gave up. Yeah. Gave, gave up on up. gave up on the duck. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so okay. <laughs> and then what, what about you have a ukulele on your, the table? What's I, that about? I have this because I. I like the ukulele. The the sound is very very nice. I always want to play guitar, mm. but guitar is too hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I think this one is all oh, easy, but actually it's not, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> because I still need too many finger at the same time. So yeah. um, I'm not good um manage my to ma my many of finger oh, in in the same time. So. But I will I will try because I li I like the sound um for the from the ukulele. Yes, yeah. so ukulele. I will try again. Yeah, ukulele and um so so the ocarina is like a wind instrument, right? So you blow like oh. it's a very very different type of instrument. Like I I've tried wind instrument, but man, I tell you, it just doesn't work for me. Moving my fingers, that's another story Because oh, uh, yeah. some, somebody, like, uh, I don't know, in the, in the gaming community relate Playing instruments like playing video games, right? Because a lot of gamers, they have very good hand-eye coordination Like mm. keyboard, mouse control So naturally, when you play piano and you play guitar you're, It's similar, it's similar actions, right? So th that's why I was able to uh, play guitar Because I play a lot of games too so, oh, okay. <laughs> so that that's the connection there. Okay, cool, very cool. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, we talk about this instrument being from uh, South Africa. Oh, let's talk about the the music. Like when you read kalimba music, like do you read musical notation or is there special uh, things that the yeah, music they, that you read? They have some different kind of uh, um, like like this one. Mm -hmm. I. I don't know how to read, so okay. I, I I cannot play with this. But uh, this one with the number, uh, like numbers. Then then I can I can play with with the number, so it's easy. Okay, so yeah. I I think the numbers are called tablature. So this is called the kalimba taps, and it's similar to guitar. Guitar also has taps, oh. and you can also play songs with a guitar reading musical notation, but it's much harder. So people nowadays they would just all focus on. The, uh, some po some people will call it the six string music, right? Uh, I call it the guitar tablature, and mm. they basically makes it much easier, right? Yeah, and uh, my my first uh, kalimbo there they have a number on the so the number the key, corresponds yeah. to the uh, music, the numbers on the music. Yeah, and so then basically that's how you yeah, play it. I just follow. Yeah, then okay. it's very easy to okay. to play. Awesome, awesome. Are there any questions? Oh, okay, a lot of questions. All right, let's hear it. Okay, so one of them is wondering that uh, the difference between kalimba and piano. Because you mentioned that kalimba mm. is very like, okay. piano. Let, let's ask, uh, let's ask uh, Carmen about this. Uh, what's the difference between the piano and the kalimba? Well, a piano has so many keys, mm. and you, you need to uh, use your all of your finger to play play right, with. Right, right. But the kalimba, you just use two thumb. Then two you thumbs, can yep. you can you can play. Two with. thumbs and you said there's seventeen keys on the kalimba. Yeah, uh, mine is seventeen keys. Okay. Yeah, they have some uh, less less than seventeen. And on on piano, anyone knows how many keys on piano? A hundred something? Hundred? No, but no. The girls at the back, do we know how many <laughs> keys on the piano? <laughs> <laughs> you get back to me on that one, huh? <laughs> Don't worry, Jer. Yes. 88? Okay, there's Ooh. 88 keys on a piano, and this is uh, 17 uh, keys on the kalimba. So in terms of picking up as a mus musical instrument to learn for beginners, this is a very good instrument. It's because yes. it's easy, you're only dealing with two fingers, like yes. the thumb. Thumbs or fingers, right? Okay, yes. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Two thumbs, and then you're focusing on just 17 keys in total. Good question. Yeah. Next. Uh, next question comes from Arjun and They are both wondering that is it hard to learn oh. and how long it takes to learn to start to 
Okay, so the next question is: Is it hard to learn a kalimba, and how long、uh, have you been playing this, basically? How, uh, how, how?、Uh, well, is it easy to learn? We have it super easy to learn. Super easy to learn. You hear that? Yeah, super easy. <laughs> and and how how long、um, have you been playing kalimba in in total? I think it's、uh, about eight months. Eight months. Eight, eight months. You can already play a song. Yeah. Wow. That's that's super amazing. So for folks who wants to pick up a new instrument and start want to start playing the kalim like playing the kalimba is probably a nice、uh, way to start your music career if you're interested、yes, in that. Yes, highly、direction. recommend.、Uh, I know there are some like if you're really interested, like go onto YouTube and just check out other videos on kalimba, and you would. First of all, you have to like the sound. If you don't, then you know probably not an instrument for you.、Mm-hmm. But you know, check out other videos and and see if that's the sound that you like. Good question. Next question. Yeah. So Wilson asked that、uh, it's common now to read notes, or is she just follow like those numbers? So common. Do you read musical notation? No. Hmm. <laughs> that's one of the reason why kalimba is also a good start because they have their own. Musical notes called the kalimba taps.、Mm. I actually, I can read a little bit of musical notation for guitar, but for me to play a long musical notation is very slow. So I always always read taps, guitar taps.、Uh, it's same reason why、uh, Carmen likes to read the kalimba taps.、Mm. Good question though. Yeah. So this is the ease. East of、uh, learning new songs based on the material available is definitely important in picking up an instrument. Good. So last question comes from Tom, and he wants to know whether Common will have a chance to perform again for the live concert. Okay. So any Common, any chance of you performing in the live concert in in the coming months? So so、uh, Ian, you will with me. <laughs> 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 I'll pick some songs for sure. Okay. I think these are great questions. Thank you for、uh, joining us today. I think we are just hitting the thirtieth minute mark right now, so、uh, at least、uh, including the countdown. If we don't have any more questions, I think this is a good place to to wrap up the stream.、Uh, comment below and、uh, let me know if you wanted to hear more kalimba music from Carmen. And you know we can we can do something about that. And if you have any question related to learning the kalimba, you can also comment or connect with Carmen directly, and she'll give you a few pointers. She she did learn this for eight months, so that she has eight months、uh, practice time ahead of you. So I'm sure she can, she'll give you a few pointers. So I think、uh, that's it. Anything to add,、uh, Carmen? No. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you for joining us. I'll see you all next week. Oh, by the way, next week. Ooh, ooh, next week. Wait, let's talk about next week. Next week is Canada Day, isn't it? Right. So next week will not be a live stream. So folks,、uh, just remember that. But we will have a video ready for you. So same time, Thursday, one o'clock. We will have a video. Remember, it's not a live stream. So feel free to join in at one or any time after one to see the video. So for now, this is time to say goodbye. Have fun, everybody. See you、Bye. around. Bye.